What was your first reaction, Coach, when you heard the announcement that Pat Summit was moving into that head coach emeritus position? I mean, you, you, it, it comes to an end at some point. You know, it'd be five, 10, 15 years down the road. Uh, you know, whether she won two or three more championships, at some point it would happen. I just think the biggest key, as long as Pat Summit and Tyler Summit happy with the decision, then I think it's a great decision. You know, and that's the most important thing that she's happy with it. Tyler's happy with it. And I had, a, I spent a lot of time with talking to Tyler Summit about you know the process and what was going on. So that was great, but. I'm happy for her. I mean, I think she's meant a lot to the university, will continue to mean a lot to the university, and we need her around this university from a recruiting standpoint and also representing the university. Talk about your your experiences with her, communicating, being around as co-basketball coaches for the, for the University of Tennessee. What, what's that been like for you? That's fun. You know, the one thing with Coach Summit and I, we get around each other, a lot of laughs and jokes, and we kind of talk about Tyler Summit most of the time, but in a fun way. But She's a good person. We didn't spend a lot of time talking basketball. I mean, cause, I mean, you, you can see how she approached the game, what she means from a basketball standpoint. We just talked about life. She'd ask about my family. How do I like it here? And that's, do you like Tennessee? you like the people around? Those are the type of things she was always asking me. Are you happy, Coach? And I'd always say, yeah, I'm happy. You coach Tyler Summit, moving on to Marquette on the women's basketball staff. What's going to make him a successful coach? Well, he has a tremendous work ethic. He also has a basketball knowledge. You, you figure... All his life, he's been around the best that ever coached the game. Uh, so he understands what it takes. He understands how she put into it. Uh, she probably brought him to many practices. So he saw the work behind it. He understands the blueprint. He saw a lot of successful players. He saw how she managed her student athletes. So he knows what goes on. He knows what it will take. And he'll, he'll, he'll bring a wealth of knowledge to Marquette's program. Not only his name that means a lot, that summit name, but also his work ethic. He can back it up. Did you know about all the notes and the basically keeping track of everything he's learned from Pat Summit and put it on the computer program? Is that something you knew along the way? Oh, yeah, this guy here. I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll say, well, Coach, I learned when I was at USA basketball team, my coach, coach, my wife, my mom coached the team. He said, this coach over here did this, so I took notes. His, oh, man, this guy here, he's serious about it. Now, he wants to be the best, and, I, and he's going to put the work in and make himself the best. Now, Jimmy Cheek had referenced that he, that he doesn't quite have the stare yet of Pat, his mom. Uh, do, does he need that? Because you you kind, you kind of have a little bit of that look too without saying something. I, I don't know if he needs it. I, I, th- I mean, he'll, he'll develop his own identity. I mean, once he, he'll probably be one of the most watched coaches in America, even though he's not a head coach, you know, just because of his mom's name and what he'll bring to the table. And, and, and like I said, he'll back it up with his work ethic. But no, he doesn't necessarily need to stare. But I mean, he's a tough guy now. He'll develop his identity now. What, what, what do you think that might be? I mean, probably along the same lines as, as his mom. Well, it has to be because that's all he knows from the. I mean, he's been around coaches here, but I mean, I, I this. He, I mean, he's been around one of the best, so I like to think he's picked up everything she she did as a coach. If not, something's wrong. So, I mean, I think that'll be a style. It sounds like it was important to him to even branch out outside of that Pat Summit coaching tree as well to, like you said, develop that that identity. I thought it was important for him. He could always stay here. He could stay around this area. But I just told him just to continue to enhance his profile as a coach and as a young man to develop his own identity, so to speak. Not that he want to lose that Summit name, but just to really go out there and branch off and see how other programs do things. There are a lot of things that you can learn because what happened with a successful program, it goes and goes for a long time. There are a lot of other things he probably need to learn how other people do things. He can pick up stuff from them. Thanks so much for your comments. Thanks, Vince.